does that even mean, Bowers? Well, YouTube, game? I'm back again for another Bowers play where I play a game against myself, and today I'm playing a two player game of Revels of Ravenport, which is this month's Game Crafter Spotlight game for two to six players ages 12 plus. Take you 30 minutes to play. I've got it all set up. So, we're going to be playing the intermediate version of the game. Let's roll the dice, see who goes first. High roll goes first. 12 from my left hand, 5 from my right hand, which means we're going to start over here. First player. We've got everything set up for a two-player game, which means we only have 20 victory points here, and the game will end either when this overlord has been defeated in a turn, or all these victory points have been taken. So to get through a turn, let's start with our order of play. We've got a handy-dandy little double-sided reference card here. Declare a monster to attack. Now, three different game modes to play with. First, you have the beginner mode, which just means you have fixed monsters on the board. You can see they're on here. Intermediate mode means that you're going to have four random cards that will just come, pop up here. It'll be, you know, constantly changing as you progress. Advanced mode means you flip this deck over, and all these monsters have their own unique asymmetric abilities, which means you really have to focus on which monsters you're going to attack at which times, and yada do da. So to start off a turn, declare a monster to attack. So we've got our starting hand here. We've got a guild leader, Youth of Ravensport, Youth of Ravensport, and our Tome of Influence. And I think we can take down... We'll try and take down a Brute. As we're going to take out this Brute right here. Now how this works is we're going to roll all three dice. And we're going to see if we were able to successfully defeat the Brute. Now how we're going to do this is we're going to look at our cards down here. Our tab below of cards. And if we get a 2, we get 1 damage. A 1, 1 damage. Or a 3, we get 2 damage. So we did get 1, 3, which means we do 2 damage. Which means we have successfully defeated the Brute. So we will gain... One victory point into our pile, and three reputation, which is like the currency in the game. The brute goes away, demoness pops up, and now we have completed the first part. All right? Spend reputation tokens to acquire one card now. So we take a look at the bottom row. We could purchase a card with our six bucks right here. We also have this Tome of Influence, which you start off with, which says once per turn, you may discard any card from the board. Now, we also have special abilities on our guild leader. They're double-sided. So one, uh, so this one's playing on side A. They're not going to use their asymmetric special ability. On this side, we're going to use on side B. So this player, once per attack, you may flip one die to the opposite side. Very, very powerful. And this one, when any other guild rolls and keeps a three, you gain one buck. So had someone else rolled this three and used it, we get a buck. That's not really a great ability right now because this player doesn't have a three. But, oh well, say la vie. Let's spend our six bucks. We got a Runes of Fate. Once per attack, you may reroll any die showing one. I don't think we'd want to do that, though, because one helps us out. A Youth of Ravensport. That's a great cost uh, card to potentially consider, because that means our threes would now be doing three damage. Gain one victory point when you defeat a monster by two or more damage. I don't think we have the power for that one. Vengeful Initiate. Gain one buck whenever any guild defeats a Demon S. Uh, there's a demoness on the board, but I don't know if that one's really worth it for two extra dollars. This one costs seven. We can't afford it. This one costs four. Artifacts cost you one less. I think we'll just get the youth of Ravensport. Spend the three bucks. Put that here. And we will just tuck that guy right there. Because now threes get us three damage. Pass the dice to the next player. Replenish the board. And the board, uh, I believe, is replenished immediately. So you buy something. Um, and you have a card that might allow you to get another thing. You can do that. We could also get rid of something for the board, and uh, we'll get rid of this. No, we'll get rid of this one, just because. So we use that. We couldn't use it again, but it's the end of our turn. Oh, we should, before we, we're just going to pretend that we would have chose the uh, the Brute again. Well, let's go with the Brute. Three, five, six. So our guild leader does not hit, but both of our youths hit with the five and the six, which means, bada boom, we've taken out the Brute. We're also going to get one point. We're also going to get three bucks. And this player is going to take it a different route. I think they're going to go with the Merchant here. They're going to spend $4 to get the Merchant because the Merchant doesn't do any damage, but artifacts are going to cost you one less, and you gain one buck when other guilds acquire an artifact. And these do stack. All the cards stack in the game. So, Replenish. We could get rid of something if we wanted to. Hmm. I think we might get rid of this card. The Unruly Ruffian. Well, I don't want to see that card get into my opponent's hands. So we move now to the next 
player, and once again, they're going to do the exact same thing. They're going to decide who they're going to fight, after we replace the board, of course. Uh, they're going to be a little bit gutsy. They're going to go with the mutant, right? Or they can play it safe and go with the goblin. Hmm. I think they want to get two bucks. I think they want to get two bucks so they can get that vengeful initiate. So I think they will go with the goblin. I think they'll play it safe, go with the goblin, bam. This one is going to kill the goblin, which means they get a point and two bucks. And I think they will turn that $5 into the vengeful initiate. So we gain one buck whenever any guild defeats the demoness, including us. So we can now go after that demoness and potentially get ourselves an extra dollar. That means we'd be picking up five bucks. So now we probably want to use our Tome of Influence because we know that they're going to be trying to purchase one of these good Tomes up here. So let's see what's a good one. Gain bought one dollar when any, any guild fails to defeat a monster. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we don't want them getting that extra money. So I think we would discard that one. Wow, lots of them up there. Moving on to this player right here. What do they have? They have $2, and they're going to try and get... They can pretty. They can buy this, this. They can pretty much buy everything except for that right now. So, whenever... Game bucks, $1, whenever any guild defeats a demoness. So, we don't want to take out the demoness for sure. I think we just go with the goblin. I think we'll play it safe. We only have three numbers. We got it. Goblin, so we gain victory point. We gain $2, and now... We have $4 to spend. When you defeat a monster by two or more damage, we're not going to be dealing that much damage, so I don't feel like it's a good one for us. Mm. This one could be promising. $1 gets us two stars, which pushes the game towards the way we want it to go. Because that's the thing we're realizing right now. I'm just realizing this person's probably going to try and go for that Overlord victory. This person's probably going to try and go for the card victory. So I think that's what we're actually going to do. They're going to save up the little money, too. And that's the other thing. We're saving money. We're getting a decent card. Well, we'd rather have a special ability. Once per attack, you may reroll any die showing a 1. But we, we hit on 1, so I just don't think that's what, what we're going to do. Well, it same thing with a 5, too. But, oh, that's so good for them. So I think we will buy the, I will buy the Rebel's Journal. The boring Rebel's Journal. $4. You, and then we gain 2 stars. That is big. That is big. Because there's only 20 in there. We're going through them. And with our Tome of Influence, I think we definitely want to get rid of this Runes of Fate. Because we do not want them getting reroll. That is just no bueno. And then we got some expensive stuff here. That's great. And then a Vengeful Initiate. Another one. Ooh. All right. So what do they need? So they need cash. So this person needs cash in order to, to get that. They need five bucks. How can they get five bucks? Boom. They go after the Demoness. This could work out real perfect. This is a huge roll right here. Wait, did they, oh, they didn't keep a three. Your guild leader card sucks, bro. <laughs> All right. Uh, one, four, five, one. No, nah, we didn't get it. And you can see why re-rolling that five would potentially be very powerful. So Demoness hits him. No penalty. Just keep on, keep on, keep it on. But you don't get the money. You don't get the victory points, which does stink. And then we don't get cash. Oh, my. So, uh, we don't have any reputation tokens. There's nothing we can do. I guess we just discard something that we don't want them to have. Which, uh, I suppose, would be... We can't discard these ones. I do believe... Uh, wait, there's some of them you can't discard. The Rebel's Base... Oh, no, you can discard these. Sorry, I was getting them mixed up. The Rebel's Base damage is equal to the amount of Rebels in your guild that hit... Yeah, so we'll get rid of this one. Just because we want to see something cheap come up, I guess. Ooh. That was a rough turn right there. They're very boomer bust. I feel like this squad with this asymmetric guild leader. But you know what? Let's, we're going to flip this over and see what this does. Just We might cheat. We might in midstream say, hey, you know what? We're going to switch this. You may buy cards from the discards if they, as if they were on the board. Um. Okay. I mean, it's not, it's not great. It's not terrible. I guess we'll stay with the other one. All right. Over here. This player just got some wind in their sails right there, let me tell you. So what are they going to do? I think they just go slow and steady. They go goblin again, right? Just go goblin. As long as we hit three, four, five. We got our five. We got our one. And you may flip. Once per attack, you may flip one die to the opposite side. That is so powerful. 
All right, so we defeated the goblin. We're going to gain a point. We're going to gain $2. And now we are going to continue our goal of buying as many of these cards as we can. Once per attack, you may reroll all dice showing a four. That's that's really good. That's really good because we don't hit on fours. And we can buy that for two bucks. I think, oh, not two stars. Uh, yeah, I think we do that. Boom, two bucks. Okay, bam. We got ourselves a lot of guild cards going on over here. And it goes to this player. Do we want to get rid of anything? Well, this would be out. We, what's the cheapest thing you could buy? Hmm. Get rid of this one. We're not going to buy it. We don't want them to buy it. So now over here, they got a hit. They got a hit. They go that Demon S again. Let's roll up that Demon S. One, four, five. Did we get it? We did not. We did not. Oh. Yeah, we got to hit threes. We got to hit twos. Yeah, so we got one attack. So once again, just owie. All right, so, hmm. Hey, that's our turn. We're over. That is rough. All right, so we need to go with the Goblin. We need to stop swinging so big. Over here, yeah, they're going for home runs, which means we take the singles. We take the singles, and now that we do have some reroll with the four, I think maybe we go with... No, don't be stupid. Go with the Goblin. Go with the Goblin again. Five, five. Yeah, we, we actually smashed them. So we got one point and... Two bucks. And now we have five bucks, which means we buy, add two to your total damage if you roll two matching numbers. That's huge. That's huge for us. Also, rolling sixes, re-rolling... No, we're not going to re-roll ones. We're not going to re-roll sixes, so those ones are good. Yeah, I think we pay the two bucks. We get those elixirs. Yeah, boom. Add two to your total damage. Yeah, that's great. Ooh, yo-yo. Cost seven. Once we're attacking, we re-roll the dice all three together. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to get rid of that. Uh, do we want to get rid of anything? No, I think we're good. At this point, we don't really care. They're going to go Goblin. They're going to play it safe. They're going to go Goblin. One, four, six. And they got they good thing they did. They got the one. Bam. So they get a victory point. Two bucks. They're struggling, and they can't afford anything. Ow. Oh man, that is, that's rough. It's rough out here. Over here, not enough for this player. So we now have, we reroll a four. Any di all dice showing four. Whew. Hmm. Yeah, I think we go for. Do we finally step it up a little bit? Well, what do we need? We want to get this this pendant. I think, maybe, maybe we start killing stuff. Let's go with this mutant. Let's step it up. We're going to go with the mutant. Feeling lucky. Two, three, five. I think we're ready to fly. We were not ready to fly. Sucks. Uh, oh, wait. But we, once per attack, you may flip one die to the opposite side, which means, ha, 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 we have two damage. We have four damage. We get to use, yeah, that asymmetric ability. I feel like it's uh, a little bit better than the other one. And maybe that's because the player count we're at. But mutant gone, two victory points, two bucks, huge, huge swing in the game. But another demonist comes out. That's a big five dollar gain potentially for these players over here. And we have five dollars. What do we buy? I think we discard something first. Hmm. Or. Or we buy one of these and we no. Slow and steady. I feel, I feel like we have a plan in place. I think we discard this one with our... Oh, can you only discard... May discard? Yeah, we're going to discard that one off the board. You may acquire one additional card each turn. Wow, I kind of want to save up for that. So we will spend $2 on something that we don't really care about. Uh, you may reroll any dice showing one. Sure. Cool. Ooh. Add one to your total damage during attacks. That's massive. Whoa. Okay, over here to this player. Oh, they were going to go for the goblin because, yeah. Well, can we afford anything? No, we cannot. We need to go goblin. We need to buy something. 
And we got it. We got a one. We did the one damage. This player's on tilt over here. They need to hit big. So now we have four bucks. Can I buy anyone? No, I can't buy anyone. But buying these runes of fate, that's good because it's going to allow us to reroll sixes. Very powerful since we don't hit on sixes. And I think we go for a demoness next turn. Whoa. So I think this person is actually going to get rid of this dragon's tooth. I think they would discard this. They'd say, yeah, I don't, I don't want you to get that. Ooh, that's a solid one. Solid one. Cheap. All right. Uh, what do we got over here? Things looking good. Do we... So we can reroll ones. I think we can... I think we can take out... I think we go for another mutant. Yeah. Let's go for this mutant over here. One, six, three. Natural. Got it. Three damage. Beautiful. Don't need to do anything extra fancy. We gain two victory points. We gain two bucks. We're up to five bucks. We cannot afford anything we want, so I think we would discard this one. And then I think, you know what? We will... Hmm. This is where we need to pivot. This is where we need to pivot. And we're actually just going to buy... We probably shouldn't have discarded the one that cost five. In hindsight, noob. But we'll buy the Youth to Ravensport for three bucks. And so now we're also going to hit on twos. Which just means we're, we're extra live. We are extra live right now. Over to this player. They're, they need a hope and a prayer. We're saying, all right, we're going to hit, the, we're going to get some cash. We're taking out the demoness right there. Let's go. One, five, six. We got our one. That's cool. We can reroll this six. We need a two or a three. Two or three. Two or three right here with this six. Let's go. That's a four. Big oofs. Can't afford anything. Yeah, that should be out. We cannot afford it. And bad. Keeps a three. You get rolls and keeps a three. Have they? Has that happened? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, anywho, over here. What do they do? Slow and steady. We've been doing that. We go with that mutant? Oh, wait, that mutant should be gone. It's just it's another demon S. Dang. We still don't have a huge amount of damage that we put out, even with our fancy shenanigans. So I feel like we go with... Man. Goblin? Yeah, slow and steady. Goblin. Hit our singles. Two, two, three. We did two, four damage. Okay. Yeah, I think we should go big next time. Uh, so we got one buck, sorry, one victory point, two bucks. We have four dollars. Can we buy someone? No. We will get rid of this card. Discard it. We cannot buy anything. That Byro sucks. But the good thing is, it sucks for us. It sucks extra for them. So they got to hit a demon us. They got to get that five bucks. Let's go right now. Five, two, four. We got a two. We're doing one point of damage. Nothing. Yep. Good turn. Good turn. Not, yeah, ow. Ow. Uh, over to this player. Slow and steady. Are we going slow and steady? Yeah. I think we do. I think we go with the um, goblin. Yeah, goblin. We'll just, no, I should, no. I, I didn't look at it. We're going to go big. We're going to go fiend. We're going to go fiend. This player just just hit a home run. Hit one. Uh, five. One. So we have three damage. We did not get it. But we can flip our numbers. So this is a four. This one's a two. We turn a five into a two. That doesn't help us. We turn a one into a six. Doesn't help us. But we can re-roll a one. Actually, what we could do. Here's what we do. I think we flip this three to a four. So we've used our ability to flip the die. But now since we have a four, we can re-roll this four and get another four, which still sucks. But then we can re-roll this one and we can say, hey, we got a two, which means we, just, we didn't do anything. Um, man, yeah. We, we were close to doing a bunch of stuff. Didn't do anything. Over here, got to go Demon S. They got it. They got to hit it. One, two, five. One, two, that looks good. One, two, three, bam, five bucks. Game changer, question mark? Probably not, but you never know. 
So we got five bucks. We're just going to spend that money right now. We have six bucks. We will buy this guy. Uh, yeah, because it's the only person we can buy. I don't know why I'm, this is what I'm, like, I'm thinking so hard about it. Like, oh, I don't know if I should. Yeah, well, that's, that's all I got. That's all I can do. Okay. Threes hit hard. Threes are the big number. We need threes. We're going to hit threes. Maybe we take out the Overlord next time. Who knows? Get frisky. Twelve? No, no, we don't. Uh, over here. What are they doing? Getting a brood out. Oh, are they, uh, they going to get rid of anything? I think they'd get rid of one of these. Yeah, they'd get rid of one of these for sure. All right. This player. <sighs> brute. Let's go with the Brute. Slow and steady. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, one, five, two. So we got it. Got the damage we need easily. Because we are, we are winning the point battle. We don't think they're going to be able to take out that Demon Overlord. And they're going to get three bucks for that. Which, yeah, that's great. That's real nice. You may acquire one additional card each turn. You, once per turn, you may spend three dollars to gain take two. If we had the money, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, so I think we'll buy this... Mm. We'll buy that pendant? Maybe? Or do we... You may acquire one of card. Yeah, sure. We'll go... This is a two-coster. We'll, we'll do that. We'll spend seven. Our sixes are going to hit hard. Our ones are going to hit hard. And we can end the game that way. This is the way we pivot. Less of these fancy cards, just more of just going out and whacking. So is it possible for them to hit a 12? That's my question. We need threes we need no it's not that's the short answer no yeah it could we need three threes we would have to hit exactly three threes in order to do it i don't think we could do that but here's the thing we have to try that's the only way we could do it because the game's going to end as soon as these three victory points are here so yeah we could go after something small and just not do anything well we, we're probably going to get one more turn because here's the way i see it we're going to gain one. I think we ugh, we can't afford anything, though. We don't have any cash. This is so bad. Yeah, let's go for the Overlord. We need three threes. And we cannot... Ugh, oh, God. It's so bad. No, we're going to play for one more turn. So what we're going to do, we're going to go Brute. We're going to go Brute, or we could go Demoness. With, yeah, we go Demoness, because if we can get five bucks, we can buy... We can discard something. So we go Demon S. Here we go. Oh my gosh! I was <laughs> so we did a boatload of damage here. We did eight, ten points of damage. We almost killed... Okay, so Brute's dead. We got the one point. We got the three bucks. And we're going to spend the three bucks. Well, first we're going to discard one thing. This is gone. Reroll sixes. I think this is it. This is what we got to do. It's the way. This is the way. Because here's the thing: if we had that, if we had that card this time, we did 12 damage there. That's I think that's our best shot. So now we are hoping that 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 mutant right there really kind of hosed us. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Why I say that is before they had to get to five damage in order to end the game and get the three victory points. Now they only have to get to three damage. Huge. So they obviously, they go mutant. They probably demolish the mutant. Yeah, they already did. Because two threes equals two points of damage. And surely they have... Oh, surely... No, because they could... Oh my gosh, did they... No, they can reroll a four. They can reroll a four. But they might miss this. They might miss this. There's the five. Yeah, they got it. Done. Boom. Dead, dead. I don't feel like we really need to count the victory points here. Because... They crush them on victory points on the cards. As you look at the cards and say, oh, there's one victory point, two victory points, three victory points, four victory points. Uh, no, actually, they didn't. They had one, two, three, four, five. Never mind. Shut my stinking mouth. But they, the physical points just absolutely dominated them. But there you go. That is Rebels of Ravenport. If it looks like it might be a cup of tea, be sure to check out the GameCraft link down below. Also, if you aspire to create your own board game like the PV Find People at Secret Weapon Games did, maybe it'll end up on my table. Be sure to check out the Game Crafter. They have the most robust set of tools you could possibly ever want to create your prototype board game. Pretty much that board game that it comes out before the, the big board game. Or you could potentially just make this your game and send this out to people. And you could put it on the Game Crafter Marketplace and people will potentially buy it. Either way. 
Rebels Rape Report. Be sure to check that one out. Also, if you're enjoying the content, be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye.